Welcome to lecture number 26 of the series Unreal Engine 5.1 for Arquis and in this lecture we learned how we can easily create a translucent material for our curtains from scratch okay so let's get started now one thing that I did off camera was to remove this solidify modifier make sure you don't have any sort of depth or thickness on your static meshes so make sure you remove solidify modifier from all of these curtains yes now one more thing that you will notice that when you remove the solidify modifier if I go into the face orientation mode you'll see that we'll have bad normals on this side of the mesh and this is because we don't have any sort of depth or thickness on our mesh okay uh, for now just ignore this don't worry about these bad normals because once we are in unreal we're going to create our two sided material so it will cover the both of the sides of this static mesh okay so enough for the rules and regulations let's now create a new material I'll go into my materials folder and let's create a new folder I'll rename this folder as kitchen cabinets and I'll move all of these materials in my kitchen cabinets folder let's create another folder and I'll rename this as curtains underscore material okay let's open this folder and I'll create a material Let's rename this as curtain underscore translucent. Let's open this material. Now before we bring in some nodes in our material editor, uh, let's first change some settings. Because this is a translucent material, so I'll change the blend mode to translucent. Okay let's scroll down and I'll change my lightning mode to surface forward shading yes let's create a base color node and I'll change the color for this node let's bring in a specular node let's bring in opacity node and finally let's bring in refraction node okay yes I think that's it apply this material okay let's create a material instance and I'll apply this material instance on all of my curtains let's open this material instance I'll check all of these boxes okay let's change the opacity to 0 0.95 I'll increase my refraction to 1 roughness of 0.5 will be fine and I'll change my specular value to 1 okay yes let's bring down the space color to 0.8 okay yeah Now you should know one thing that this translucent material is only designed for path tracing okay path tracing is actually a topic for another video I'll create a complete video in which we'll discuss lumen path tracing and ray tracing and all for now just keep in mind that path tracing is a different type of rendering mode that gives very photorealistic renders okay now if you want to see how your curtains will look in path tracing for that let's change some settings I'll go into my project settings and let's scroll down to rendering settings and you need to make sure that you have enabled your hardware ray tracing and path tracing okay don't worry about these three in the middle just make sure that this path tracing is enabled and your hardware ray tracing is enabled okay now be advised that you need an NVIDIA RTX series graphic card or a DXR driver enabled GTX series graphic card for path tracing okay it's always a good practice to have them but in case if you don't just don't worry because you can still create some very nice and realistic renders okay let's move down to windows settings and make sure and make sure your default RHI is set to DirectX 12 okay yes 
now one more thing to control our path tracing settings I'll select my post process volume and let's search for path tracing I'll check all of these boxes and let's try 128 samples per pixel now as I said earlier that I will explain all of these settings but in another video in which we'll discuss lumen path tracing and ray tracing but for now if you want to see that how your curtains will look in path tracing just follow along let's now select this view mode option and I'll select path tracing and it will take some time to render a scene depending on the speed of your GPU yes so this is how it will look in path tracing now it may not look very photorealistic right now but believe me when we'll complete our lightning setup and our exterior it will look a lot better okay yes let's go back in the lit mode I'll cancel this one more thing that I like you to see is that when I view my curtains from the outside part of our mesh is just invisible and this is because we have bad normals on this side of the mesh but as I said earlier we'll create a two-sided material for these curtains okay so let's open the parent material and I'll scroll down these settings and make sure you check this box two-sided okay and apply this material now as you can see that we don't have those artifacts anymore okay yes now if I select this curtain I can see that my curtains are going through this floor okay to solve this problem what we can do is either we can go back in blender and then maybe scale this down or what we can also do is we can also scale this down in unreal engine by using these transform options but first but first we need to set the pivot point or the origin point for our curtains because right now the origin point of our curtains is set to the origin point of our scene okay so first we need to set the pivot point of our curtains then we can scale them down so to set the origin point of this curtain what we need to do is I'll go into the modeling mode let's scroll down to this transform option I'll select this pivot option and if I want to set the origin point of this curtain at the center I'll select the center option and I'll accept this change and now as you can see that it has set the origin point of this curtain right at the center but the way I'm gonna scale this it is better to have the origin point at the top okay so I'll select the pivot properties again and I'll set the origin point for this curtain at the top and I'll accept this change as you can see that the origin point of our curtains is now set at the top similarly I'll select this curtain and I'll open the pivot properties and I'll set the origin point for this curtain at the top and I'll accept this change and I'll do the same thing for these curtains as well okay yes let's go back into the selection mode and now if I want to scale this on Z axis I can either scale this down using my transform properties or what you can also do is press R on your keyboard and then we can use this gizmo to scale this down on Z but we have another problem and that is it is scaling down on Z axis but it is scaling in increments and this is because we have enabled the snapping option now you can disable the snapping by clicking this icon and now as you can see that we can scale down on Z axis very smoothly let's scale this down let's try 0.988 it or 0.99 I think 0.988 is fine 
yes now I'll simply copy this value and I'll paste this value on the other curtains as well I press ctrl V and it will scale down all of these curtains okay let's bring down the exposure Now don't worry about these artifacts, they won't be visible in path tracing, okay? Yes. Now one more thing that I like to mention in here is that we're gonna also create some curtain blowing animations in the series but in the animations part, okay? We'll create some curtains blowing animations and we're gonna also create a fluid simulation for the sink of our bathroom and we'll create another fluid simulation for the fountain of our pool so yes we'll create all of these but in the animations part okay so yes i think that's it for this lecture in the next lecture we'll create a material for the glass of these windows okay so yes i'll see you guys in the next lecture